like, what up, guys? <laughs> See that they wrap my arm up. And now I'm on the way back. Well, I'm on the way finna go get surgery, man. Yes, your boy is finna get surgery. That's all crazy. They gotta take take off the old dead skin and put some. They said it's real human skin just to heal it up. <sighs> get that thing back right. And then I gotta come back in a week, check up on it. But yeah, man, y'all stay tuned through the whole video. Cause hey, don't nothing let, don't nothing let long, man. Don't nothing let long. Sheesh. So I just got done with surgery and man, look at that. Jeez, boy, that medicine ain't no joke, boy. Woo. But got it over with. I feel 10 times better. It's just a healing process now. Just gotta wait on the heal and just take it easy, man. Hey, things happen, man. So y'all be safe out here. Um, they prayed up, man, because what I got, I don't know where I was going to be at. Sheesh, pants, everything was on fire. <clears throat> but, yeah, man, they went on and had surgery, um, healing. I'm on my way to the house now. Um, I'm going to keep y'all updated, no cap. Probably time to come in the morning to keep the video going, man. Because right now, I do not feel like talking. I'm going to be on it with y'all. I just want y'all to see me fade. All right. Okay, guys, it's the next day. Uh, I had surgery yesterday. Um, they had to scrape all the skin off, all the burnt skin. I show y'all the pictures and everything, the video I took at the hospital and everything. Um, yeah, I'm showing them they had burnt my pants. I'm showing them, I'm talking to them, telling them what happened. Uh, but yes, sir, man, what's up? What's to the channel, man? Life of Nick. Um, y'all hit the subscribe button right now. We're going up the whole 2022. <laughs> Uh, road to 1k man i'm just I'm just over here tripping man so y'all seen the last video i had cooked everybody some um hot dogs hamburgers chicken and everything like that baked beans mac and cheese uh everything was good or whatever but this time what tuesday i had um sheesh i got the tv playing hold on y'all okay guys so yes um <coughs> So yeah, I had decided to cook Tuesday. I had decided to cook some. Hello, man, I'm making a video, okay? Mm -hmm. I thought you gonna be in a video. Come back over here. See, that's gonna be in the video with me. I'm talking to him. So, yeah, guys, so I decided to cook Tuesday and I decided to throw, I was here by myself. Um, The grandma had them, had, she had came and got them early or whatever, so. I was at the house all day by myself, boy, you know, just doing stuff, fixing stuff around the house, making sure everything was good. So I decided to cook me some pork chops. Uh, I had fired up the grill, the grill was going, I warmed it up like I was supposed to, um, and I put them on there. And at that time, I was just hungry, bro. I've been impatient, that's all. I've been impatient. And, <laughs> and man, the fire and stuff, I thought the fire and stuff was going out, but, it wasn't, it was just kicking like it was supposed to. So my impatient tail, my impatient tail, bro, I had got dang, put some more charcoal in it. And the new grill I got, y'all know in the last video, the new grill I got, the little middle compartment open up. What's up, man? Yeah, you gonna ask yourself through? Yeah. That's a long time ago, he did, Ben did that. <laughs> But anyways, y'all, I had opened the compartment in the middle, put some more charcoal in there, and I put some more lot of fluid in there too. Okay, boom. Okay, I put some more lot of fluid in there. And my dumb cell, I know, I know, I know. Y'all don't jump on me, don't jump on me. I know I'm supposed to put a piece of paper, a lot of piece of paper or something, and put it in there, and it start like that. But my dumb self, I don't know why I thought I wouldn't, it just it wasn't gonna blow up, but. I sat down, and lit it with the lighter, put my whole arm in there, lit it with the lighter, and boom! Like it happened so quick, bro. Like soon the spark went, boom! So, and then I instantly jumped back, but I think I wrapped it too late. That's how I burnt my arm, cause my shorts. See my shorts right here. Just pick them up for them. Show them the shorts. 
So you short, see they got holes in them and everything because they was on fire. Like my all my short, my whole short was on fire. And I noticed that before I noticed my arm. Took them off and then I felt my arm burning from my fingertips to the goddamn middle right here. So I always took my muscle. I felt that burning. So man, <laughs> first thing I do is go in the house, put some water on the cold water on to cool it down. And then that ain't help at all. That was making it worse. So I had at the time I had fixed, um, well I ain't fixed something, but I had turned on my AC unit before I went outside. I had the AC running and everything. So I went up to the AC unit and basically just put my arm up to the AC unit to keep it cool. But that I don't think that was doing it made it feel so much better. But I don't think that was really doing was um give me frostbite, freezing my arm. Cause Cause the more it's on the more it's on the it felt better and better and then my arm started getting numb as long as I had it on the yeah, numb. So I feel like I was getting frostbite. So man, man, so every time I took it away from the uh, AC, it was burning, burning, burning. Every time like, put it back on there, it felt good. Then I took it away, it was burning. Sheesh. So I said, bump this. I looked it up. Um, I said, how to calm down a burn, like just to get burnt. I just tight it in one hand, boom. Them folks said, put some Vaseline on. They call it Pimelian Pimel Jelly, something like that. But they said, put some Vaseline on it. So I go on door there, I order some Vaseline, bro. And that don't take about an hour to get here. Uh, so I'm just in that pain, bro, no cap. So the Vaseline, now listen. So the Vaseline get here, I put it on there quick, rub it down my whole arm, quick. It was feeling good at first. I was feeling real good. Yes, sir. It was feeling good. And then that junk got worse. Like, whole arm on fire for like, it was back on fire. for like I was in the fire. Like, I said, God dang. But I couldn't take it. Couldn't take it. I had to call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. Bro, they pulled up. And I ran out the door, bro. I met them at the street, bro. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I ain't never felt no pain like that, bro. I see folks be talking about, I ain't never felt no pain like that, bro. I done got burnt before, but not my whole arm. It felt like it was just finna fall off. So they pulled up or whatever. I'm just gonna talk to y'all, man. Y'all be a bad with me, bro. I had some pain medication. I'm, I'm feeling, feeling not right. Probably finna take a nap after this video, but it's good. I'm telling y'all the story. Just like, share, subscribe. Um, Give me the 1K. We're going up, man. No cap. I'm still going to keep going. Still going to keep recording. The grind do not stop. This, the grind don't stop. Ain't that right, JJ, man? Um, yes, sir. So, <sighs> so when they pulled up, uh, they seen I had, I told them the story or whatever. They seen I had um, Vaseline on my arm. Them folks thought I said, when I called them, they, they thought I said the grill fell on my arm. Anyway, so I said, no, nah, I burnt my arm. I lit, I relit it, and it burnt my whole arm. Yeah, I see it. I see it. And these just the short. I got on some um, pants right now. I'm just showing him the short. It's ripped up. But yes, sir. Uh, um, so they said it's wrong. Nah, nah, take that out, take that out. So they had got some napkins, took all the um, all the Vaseline I put on on there. And as soon they took the Vaseline off. Man, that job went 10 times worse. Like, all the air started hitting it. So, they said with, with the Vaseline on it, it covered it up. It can't breathe. Your pores can't breathe or whatever. So, that's why I was getting burned. It was burning more and more because it was holding in all the heat. So, anyway, it took that off and it got worse. And it was burning, burning, burning. Then I felt out of pain. I said, yeah, I got to go to the hospital then. I ain't want to go. Like, you feel me? You could, you could really wrap me up, put me back in the house. I'll be good. I'm man. You feel me? I'm tough for that. So anyway, uh, it started burning more. I said, like, yeah, just take me to the high pillar, bro. Took me to the high pillar. Um, um, I got to the high pillar, bro. And like, they ain't want to go, they ain't, it was hurting, bro. It was good to the point. I was in that shaking. I was like, finna pass out, bro. Like, cause it was hurting so bad. And when nobody stunned me, like I'm just sitting in the room, everybody stunned me. I'm sitting in the room about 30 minutes. Nothing about stunned me. They coming out, um, and they finally give me some pain medicine and stuff, putting them on, give me the IV and everything, and gave me the pain medicine. And um, that about put me to sleep. Anyway, <laughs> after that, came out, they looked at it. Um, Jeez, what they did, they came out, looked at it. I see, man. 
came down, looked at it, um, said, said I'm gonna have to go to the burn center tomorrow. Um, they just wrap it up tonight, give me some pain medication, and have to go to the burn center in the morning because they more legit about burns. They know what to do with stuff like that. So in the morning, we went all the way to Atlanta. Uh, what? Uh, I think called welfare or something like that. Um, Burn Center. Um, I gotta look at the paper. But yeah, we went up there and um, right away uh, we was we were waiting about an hour, hour and a half. And they got us in there. They got us in the room or whatever. And the first thing them folks gonna tell me. First thing them folks gonna tell me, but I ain't wanna hear it. I gotta have surgery. <laughs> oh my God, bro! I never had surgery in my life, bro. I never had surgery. And I was so scared, bro. I was just like, okay, go and get over with Cause so, they said if I didn't get the surgery, I have to come back in three days. Then I, you know, I ain't about to go back and forth Atlanta. I can't even drive. I ain't trying to go back and forth Atlanta, bro. So I just said, all right, go and get out the way. So <clears throat> that same day, yesterday, they did the surgery. They said only thing they had to do was really scrape all the burn out. Like I said, I'ma show y'all. <laughs> Jeez, I hope YouTube keep it in, but. I'm gonna show y'all, man. The only thing they had to do was scrape off all the burn. Um, Cause then it didn't blister up, it didn't start blistering up to around my hand. My hand started blistering up, but the rest didn't. So they said if it did, uh, it was gonna be third degree burn. But since it did, it was second degree. So had surgery, they scraped all the burn um, off and replaced it with, I don't know what it called. They said skin graft, that's what people call it. Um, it's like human skin. If it other human skin, people who donated or people who died, um, skin on the, and <laughs> basically, and cover that up with, um, what is it, a burn cream, some type of cream covered up with that. And basically the skin sitting on top of my skin gonna make my skin heal faster, pretty much. So it won't, so when it heal, it won't be all messed up looking. It won't you know, be ugly. Why you, <laughs> why you looking like that? Why you looking like that? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically, so it won't be ugly. <clears throat> basically, so it won't be ugly, y'all. So pray for me, stay tuned, cause I'm definitely gonna keep y'all updated. Look at, I got it propped up right now. Jeez, I can't move it, bro. Uh -uh. Ah, but anyway, <laughs> I got it propped up. But yeah, I go back wait Wednesday, and then they gonna check it out. Um, they gonna unravel it and see how everything looking and stuff, and then. We're gonna go from there, man. I talked to my job today. I went over to my job. I talked to them and, and um, let them know my situation. They said I was good. So, yes, sir. Thankful to be here. Thankful to be alive. Thankful to still have my job. Um, you feel me? Nobody but God, bro, because anything could have happened. Like I said, it could have been way worse because my pants was on fire. My shorts was on fire. Man, I took them guys like, instantly, but. Man, what, bro? If I were at the high rat, it would have been way worse. But lesson learned, man. People saying don't hop back on the grill, real, but I got kids. I'm still gonna hop on that grill, but it's just a lesson learned. I know not do it next time. <laughs> I know what to do next time. You feel me? So, yes, sir, man. Y'all, uh, appreciate y'all. Appreciate everybody who checked on me. Appreciate everything, cause, bro, that's what make 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 a nigga feel better, bro. You feel me? That, that you know people got. That you know that people care about you. You feel me? And anything can happen anytime. See my boy going out now. Uh, throat getting dry, but anything can happen anytime, bro. So stay prayed up. You feel me? Uh, Cause God was definitely by my side. All right, love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, uh, hit the subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications, man. Stay updated to life and Nick. Stay updated to our family channel coming soon. Trucks coming soon, especially when I heal up. Cause yeah, man, we already had no plan, but definitely stay tuned. Cause definitely got more coming for y'all. Um, pray for me, man. Yes, sir.